Hello, hello everyone. How you guys doing? Let's see what I got for you today. We have a gorgeous looking Opal Senator B. Now this Opal Senator model was specifically made between 1983, I'm sorry, 1987 and 1993. And this is a beautiful car, let me tell you. Beautiful car. I found Opal to be a very attractive car back in the 80s. When they came up with the Opal Omega and the Opal Senator, even the Opal Vectra, they were very attractive cars. The Opal Corsa was very cute to be a small car. You know, they had a nice touch for cars they had a good choice they made them pretty well that's why opal was a lot of them opal models they were not sold as opal in latin america but they were sold as chevrolets like the chevrolet omega chevrolet vetra chevrolet corsa chevrolet astra because they were good looking i just Remember, Opal was part of the GM market, so they used to call them Chevrolet. Because Chevrolet was a very, it is actually, a very well-established brand in Latin America. Especially South America. Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, and other countries. It's a very well-established brand. So they rather call them as Chevrolet because people appreciate uh like that brand a lot more so they they trust more so they gm said let's bring them as chevrolets and it will be a better 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 choice better market for it and this is a beautiful collection let me tell you look how detailed look how the grill it's really detailed the opal ignition in the top the sign the logo i mean you see a sunroof in the top Everything is so detailed. Look at those tail lights. If I love it when they detail everything in the car. You know, the trim all around the car. The the, ha the um, door handles, you know. You see it turn signals in the bottom. Very cute. It does I noticed that the Opal Senator has the looks of the Opal Omega, but even more fashionable. Because the Opal Senator was the top of the line Opal back in late 80s, early 90s. The Opal Senator. And this is a very, very well made. I love this color. It really stands out in the car. You could see the detail. I could see the, the le you could see the the leather seats. Even though they, I mean, obviously in the die cast they're not leather, but you, you could tell when you look at them that they were leather in real life. How cute is that? I love it when they show details like that of a of a die cast. I I just appreciate those little details. It really stands out on me. And yeah, this is a beautiful car, I gotta say. Beautiful, beautiful collection. Look at those wheels, how detailed they are. Remember, those are the way they looked in real life. So they gotta put some detail. Look at those those tires, those wheels. Very, very good, very well made. I love it. They really took the time to invest in everything. Look how detailed in the front it is. The headlights, but you can see the trim all around. The black trim around the windows. You could even see the rest, the, the headrest in the back. They were big back in the days, right? Those cover half of your vision. For the pe person that's driving, it must have been a real pain to look through those, those uh, headrests. The good thing about them, I could say, is that they were they had a hole in the middle of the headrest, so you could see through. That helps. That helps a lot. But really nice car, really beautiful, really detailed, and I like that. 
All right, so I'm gonna let it go around so you can have a nice look at the car and enjoy this beauty. And yeah, so you have a nice, have a nice look at it. All right, everyone, so going back to the car, I'm sure they still have them around. I I never seen, actually, I did. I see them in a car show here in the, in the States, but it was, Opal was never sold in America. I mean, in the 80s. They sold back in the 60s and 70s, but not in the late 80s, and this model was never sold here. But they exported a few of them, obviously, aftermarket, afterwards, as a collector. And I see a few of them. They're beautiful. Let me tell you, they are they're big because it's a luxury car and they're gorgeous. But going back to my, especially my European folks, do you still see them on the road? Do you still see them around? Do you see them in car shows? Have you ever drove one of these? You know, I would love to hear stories of how good they were, how good they are still. And also, do you collect diecasts like me? Are you a diecast collector? Do you enjoy these cars? Are you a fanatic? I mean, hey, I am. And I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of a lot of people that I love them, you know, but I'm I'm excited to hear your stories. I'm excited to hear what you like about Diecast, what collections you guys have. Let me know. And hopefully you give me a nice thumbs up in this car. I appreciate. Definitely. And, you know, if you're liking my videos, please do not forget to subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button. It will let you know when I'm posting more videos. Alright guys, so I'll see you on my next video. Take care of yourselves. And goodbye.